Welcome to 2230. Today, we've got a gripping topic that's been making waves in both Singapore and China. We'll be delving into the viral SGH incident and discussing the woman's actions and a Chinese uncle's response. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content like this. And of course, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's get started with the facts. On October 10th, a video emerged featuring a woman named Han Faizi, who had an argument with an investigation officer, Io, at the Singapore General Hospital. She accused a nurse of denying her treatment due to not being a Singaporean, following a foot injury from a traffic accident. The situation escalated quickly, and she was later arrested and charged with various offences. Amidst this controversy, a middle-aged uncle from China took to Duyin to share his perspective. He criticized the woman and her supporters, calling them big babies, and defended the actions of the IO and the hospital staff. So, let's break down the discussion. First, the uncle pointed out that many countries, including Singapore, have restrictions on revealing CCTV footage. This is an essential fact to consider when discussing the demand for video evidence. Do you agree with these restrictions or think transparency should be a priority? He also mentioned that in both China and Singapore, police officers typically do not allow people to film their identification. This raises an interesting question about personal privacy and security. Should the rules change when recording in public places, or should they stay the same? The uncle argued that scolding others abroad is a big issue. This highlights the importance of cultural sensitivity and understanding local norms when dealing with cross-cultural interactions. Do you think cultural awareness is a key factor in these situations? He dismissed the claims of discrimination against Chinese nationals and questioned whether the supporters had actually heard the nurse deny treatment. This leads us to the importance of distinguishing between real discrimination and perceived injustice. What are your thoughts on this? The uncle concluded by saying that Singapore's hospitals are known for their quality and that verbal abuse of their staff is not tolerated. This aligns with the general expectation of respectful behavior towards healthcare professionals. What's your take on this? Should there be a zero-tolerance policy for verbal abuse in healthcare settings? Now, let's discuss this fascinating topic further in the comments below. Do you agree with the uncle's perspective, or do you think the woman had a valid point? We'd love to hear your opinions and engage in a meaningful discussion. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more thought-provoking content. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.